Interesting. I really want to know what uh, Mars is going to do to deal with this link here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people consider T to be one of the best links, if not the best link in general in this game. Yeah, I mean, a couple of people are giving him a run for his money. A lot of more link mains since the mechanic changes with him <laughs> made him a very scary character. And I like it still sticking with the red link he was known for in Smash 4. Yeah, no, definitely. Mars uh, one of the people who first put Zero C on the map as far as high placing results go. Definitely shout out to him. He's just been putting in so much work with his character lately. And uh, especially after that new pickup from Panda Global. Yeah. Congratulations to him. But also, let's talk about T. Uh, I mean, just in general, Link is a character that's been known to be kind of clunky. Uh, but he just makes the movement work with him, making him look so fast, using those fast falls, using that boomerang, the nair, and the back airs quickly out of shield to make Link a character to look like he's hard to hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought that up. Just because he was so good at moving that way with Smash 4 Link, he just wasn't as uh, fast with his, like, you know, his lag on aerials. But the boost in this game to less landing lag and free frame drop spot universally really helped him out a lot, as you can see. Yeah, very oh. interesting to see from T as well. There we go. Finally sees the bomb when he has the advantage position. Doesn't want to use it in neutral. Probably doesn't want to give up that space. And that's the kind of the way T played in Smash 4, too. He didn't really pull out bombs until he had the control. And he usually will rely on his aerials and his range and speed to try and box out characters instead. That boost kick not quite going to come out yet. Mars standing up and adjusting Ooh. himself. Going to clip him with that back air too. Yeah, Keeping up trade. a lead. Great trade coming out there from Mars. Let's see what we can do to build in this lead here. See trying to make something happen. Throw out these forward airs. Trying to meet Zero Suit in the air. But oh, the startup of... Look like an F smash. Maybe yeah, a miss I input. I think it was, yeah. Uh, Might have been Mars. trying to F till. Not sure. Immediately evening up the game, though, not letting Mars build too much of a lead here. Well, yeah, just catching him on startup. That's one of the big weaknesses for Link. Boxing scenarios is very difficult for him in CSS. Very quick aerials as a frame one jab. We'll be able to beat out Link in a lot of scenarios. Usually, T will have to preemptively uh, decide where to intercept his opponent, which yeah. he's not a stranger to at all. Yeah, and uh, again, even though it's not Mars, Zero Suit still struggles with characters who have a strong disjoint. So if T's able to space around where Mars is to jump in, he can get a lot of good damage. But I think the movement of Zero Suit is really rough for T as far as his projectile setups go because you have to start with the boomerang. He wants to do that, but uh, Mars can get right in his face really quickly before that can happen. But the F smash, punch him with the boost kick, big hit here. Not quite going to get that bomb explosion. Of course, it is a great edge guard tool, especially to cover the ledge, but. Not quite in the position oh, there, misses the tech again. Oh. That was really smart from T. He recognized that Mars didn't tech the first time either when he got hit by the Nair into Tumble, and that was a big opportunity for him. He tried to get the jab block, but that time he just said, you know what, you're in death percent, let's just go for the uh, dash attack there. One of the best setups for that very laggy move. Yeah, great hit confirmed from T. The boost hit got the ledge on one side of the stage, though, not going to be enough to kill, and at least a big heavy character. But then another back air trade from Mars. Uh, He's pretty con um, consistent with that falling there just to relieve a lot of pressure and since it's so quick and use the combos. But uh, Mars calling that out. Alright, the up smash comes in. Not able to intercept him in the air with that, but gets a parry. Able to reposition himself, not able to get anything else though. Okay, pops him up in the air. Not gonna cover the air dodge T. Switching back and forth between disadvantage. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, the wow, that backer actually went like right behind T and he was able to get that position. The grab here. Oh, not enough room to get the punish. Again, yeah, I'm really uh, surprised to not see that much of the bomb being used in this. I mean, it's just in general, I feel like ZSS is pretty fast, so I feel like that might be the, the, the benefactor for ZSS to prevent him from pulling bombs. Big opportunity here. Guess that upper clips him. That bomb is nowhere to be found, so Mars is free to roam around. Okay, just facing the aerials really safely. Or T gets in there to force him into the ledge. Ooh, almost getting the setup, but. Barely missing. Still, really good position here. Gets past the boomerang, but Mars not able to really retreat safely. Oh, oh nice yeah. timing. Catches the falling there. Goes really deep with the there himself, and the hitbox of that hero spin is incredibly strong. Oh yeah. my goodness. I like how he decided to let all of the hits loose because if you don't do that, then the last hit may not connect, and you may not get a stage bike situation like that. Potentially kill your opponent. Very smart stuff from T. Gonna be able to take that first game. Pretty much barely, but still. <laughs> yeah, at least fast fall speed after this Nair is incredible. I like that he used the fast fall Nair to just like maneuver uh, really low in the blast zone, force Mars to approach, try to chase him down there, and immediately get the up B out. Game one going to T. Really close stuff. But I uh, just barely edging that one out. Mm -hmm. 
it's funny because I see uh, in the in the link discord they all talk about like bomb setups and what to do with it and stuff like that it's just kind of interesting to see T with a different playstyle yeah. not quite using them as much it's just, it, I feel like T doesn't want to sacrifice his neutral to for his bomb pulls and stuff like that so he just uses the bomb and if it's in the right position it's in the right position not the end of the world it's not yeah, yeah that's kind of been his thing even in the previous game like he just kind of relied more on using his normal moves and just positioning on the stage yeah. and movement not that he doesn't have good bomb placement and projectile use at all, it's just only saves it for the right situation, like I said. It's just a playstyle choice, and more than anything. Oh, finally gets a boomerang, but it's too far away. Usually you need a point-blank boomerang to be able to set that up. 50% already for both these players. <laughs> Working out really nicely. They're just going from blow for blow, and then when they try to hit back, come back into position, they'll be able to get that damage. Wow. I'm with their team. Look at tether grab at zero two. Just one of the scariest things with Kato like Link. He's playing super hard, especially with the S smash. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Please take out his shield. I like it. Really good answer for that falling there at Link. You must love to go for on your shield. Didn't want to go low that time around because uh, he, he lost his stock and the game for it the first time around. The whip comes out, but the shield comes out just in time. Oh. And intercepts in the air with that up air. How does he land? Nice. Where do you have the platform? Oh, scary spot there for T. He gets quarter for his troubles. All right. Small laser. Using the platform really well. Just allowing another play from the retreat to get to the center stage. But the paralyzer with, wow, really deep up there. Catching the jump. Yeah, looks like he caught him some cross up the eye too. So, yeah. very nice stuff from Mars. Keeping things close here. Nice. Right, catching the whole BO smash. Going to continue with the up air. Find tons of pressure on that platform. Really like how he's playing on Smashville right now, making it really hard for T to land safely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one big platform in the middle makes it very sticky and difficult to try and come back to the stage. You can usually land on the platform first and then try to move back around because uh, there's so limited space for you to land on this stage. So try to make something happen with Mars moving in and out, not far for any of these quarters, but it's a suicide <laughs> Happens for him right there. Yeah, little commentator's curse there. And I like what Mars is doing. He's being so safe with his aerials against T's shield. The kickflip not quite going to be able to spike there, but still, yeah, he's just using those superior aerials to stay right outside of Link's Ooh. out of shield range. He's working deficits for him right now. Stay safe again. Another four year bully him off the stage. T going low. Mars played it safe here. Throwing out the down smash. Not going to get the hit he needs, but oh, the big hit boomerang in the forward. They're going for a bounce set up here. Kind of gets the stage control he needs to go for that, but Mars gets right past him with his air. Mm -hmm. I like that from T. He threw the bomb up just to force him to the ledge. He didn't want to inter oh. be intercepted by that. And down smash into the plasma whip. Really good timing position there from Mars. Covered the extended up B past the ledge almost perfectly. There's the up smash. What's he gonna do here? Just goes for the jab setup on the platform. Try to go for that control again. Oh, oh the what down smash. Is. Yeah. Oh, both of them up with the bomb with Mars came back for free pretty much. And I like how he uses that boomerang just to be able to inch it forward towards the ledge. A lot of Link's projectiles and his normals interact with the bomb very well, like how you'd expect them to. So he's able to come back around and uh, try to get that ledge control with it. But Mars still about to overlap the percents right now. T's got to make something happen if he wants to get that 2-0 lead. But Mars does not look like he wants to give that up right now. He's using those oh. safe aerials, but it was a little bit too ham. Didn't have the room after the cross-up on that aerial to be able to come back to the stage. And he's going to get clipped there. 107%, but still, Link is a scary character to deal with. Yeah, Mars is playing it really safe. Throwing up these really safe hitboxes, knowing that he can kind of... He doesn't have to really commit to anything too crazy, because he has a huge lead right here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, back there. That'll be able to do it. Very nice stuff. Okay, going up 1-1. One, one. Let's see what he's going to counter for here. Mars... Kind of slowed the game down. Started positioning his hitboxes better where uh, T wants to whiff a move and then just control the stage from there. Yeah. This is just different from the burst game. I feel like T was able to intercept an air to air, but he was Mars was doing a better job of keeping T in shield and then spacing at the exact moment where he's not able to get a punish because Ooh. of it. Now T is a uh, dual main in this game, working with the young Link and the Link. So, uh... Let's see what we can do here. I mean, he has pretty good success with this character as well. I think he just wants a faster character to deal with Zero Suit. Yeah. Yeah, and Young Lee is definitely one of those characters that can uh, keep up with this kind of character. Lots of good frame data, um, really good movement, and just in general, able to intercept a lot easier. Because the bombs look like weren't there, they weren't uh, working out too well either, so 
Just being able to have uh, fire arrows instead to be able to juggle and the uh, boomerang still point blank to be able to set up to your aerials. I can see the pick here. Yeah, he is going to kind of struggle when it comes to kills just because uh, Young Link just requires more setups to get the kill. He doesn't really rely on raw kill power like Link does. Mm -hmm. At the same time, though, he has those setups for a very long time. Yeah. So that's, that's the benefactor of using Young Link. Wow, he's really trying to go for these grabs. Not quite coming to fruition, though. That's hard pressure with the other Mars. Again, just facing these aerials right where he wants to try to jump in. I really like the bait and punish style of Mars. It, it works so well for him in this matchup. Yeah. I think especially, too, just because it's uh, T's pulling out the Young Link for the first time against him. So he probably wants to just figure out, okay, how does he play the Young Link compared to the, the regular Link? Is, is it the same? Is it going to be more faster in your face? Like, uh, what's the difference is going to be? And it looks like he's still trying to figure that out. But he's going to go intercept right around him, get that back air after the kickflip. It's facing your T. Trying to approach. Doesn't get the boost. He's looking for F smash. Big damage here for T. Not quite enough to do it, like you said before. Young Link's not <laughs> quite the best at the kill power, even with a big punish like that. Oh, that move is so scary when he hits your shield. It has such a high chance of shield poking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, catching oh, him coming up back. Here. Yes. Nice tech chase, turning it into the boomerang forward air. Okay, that's exactly what he needs. Yeah, two chases in a row. One for the roll afterwards on the on the shield, and then afterwards the tech chase. Very nice stuff from T. Keeping up the pressure, just not relenting when he knows he has a good position. Back bar, trying to push the flip. He does get the side beat to connect. It's still barely even on here. Gets up too, but goes super deep off stage. That flip kick is so good. Just throws zero three right out there in the blast zone. He brought a really quick aerial to catch a jump. Yeah, very nice stuff. Spacing out with the air. Yeah, I mean, zero three should have uh, like that there and stuff to be able to outrange Young Link. But it's just a matter of the invasion that T is able to do. You saw before already. He was able to chase him out of shield very nicely. Nice catches on these landings of there just to reset over and over. Not going to catch the roll in, but still huge advantage right now for Mars. Great pressure again. That Nair out of the jab, something that you always have to respect. Gets a shield poke back air. Spacing on the arrows, impeccable right now. Covering the jumps up is there. Very nice stop, Mars. Shutting down teams to fix, or sorry, a young wings to fix options. Oh, the boost kick out of shield, not quite going to connect though. And chases him twice with the upper. Gets three, I think, for his troubles there. The last one trading out. Gonna get that frame one jab on his shield again. Catches any out of shield option there. Oh, the down air chase. Tries to go up there and catch him with the upper, but immediately throws up the down air. Intercept that really well. Mm -hmm. Still very close to dying here. Mars, positioning his arrows in a good spot to get this kill. He's utilizing the stage to see if he can set projectiles a little bit more. Alrighty, gets that grab. Yeah, just gonna go for four throws basically. At the medium percent, it sets up for tech chases really nicely, and then you can just get safe control as well. <laughs> you can tell that both of these two players really respect each other. They just ran up and shielded in front of each other. Yeah, good thing that Zero Suit having a kill throw in the game actually. I mean, your grab's not the best, but now you can. Uh, Kill you at hypersense where you're forced to kind of shield more out of fear of being killed by a wrong move and just get the grab in there, get the stock. Right. All right, Nair into up smash. Into the back air, double back air with the control too. Gets nice. that grab. Tech chase situation doesn't call out the jump. So I go out and the down air. Not going to catch him on the platform here, but Mars still. Winning these exchanges pretty consistently here. T, a little bit scared in shield, trying to make something happen, but Mars weaving in and out. That shows him back off the stage. Catches the no invincibility and gets the spike with the flip kick. Really clean stuff from Mars. Yeah. Very nice stuff altogether. Even used, I think it looked like he even used the soft kick flip uh, spike, and it's still enough to do it against character like Young Link. All right, let's see what T does. Going back to Stadium 2, will he go back to the regular Link or will he? Uh, stick it out with the young link because both games look like they were decently yeah. the same. So yeah, going back to the regular link. Yeah, I really feel like just outside of that one bomb, or sorry, boomerang setup, he wasn't really able to convert off his projectiles like he was hoping. And even with the added speed of uh, young link, he doesn't have the best range. Mm -hmm. Like zero suit still has uh, better hitboxes with more range to just contest like these jumping area situations. So now he's going back to the link. Probably relying on uh, that added kill power to make more out of his punches. 
And he had, uh, like, regular Link has a little bit more range. If, even if he doesn't beat him out directly, he can still at least trade. And that Nair is still working out really nicely. I mean, he just has longer legs in general, so that works out for him. Oh, he's going to use a flip kick to retreat the other side of the stage. See, finally using these projectiles a little bit more to get set up. Wasn't able to do that for much in the previous game. Nice. Oh, he tried to find the setup after the boomerang was coming back. He has just a little hit stun, but it's able to set up nicely because it pops you up in the air. Nice falling there from team, moving, moving around the stage really well and catches Mars dash again for the lead. Last hit that four there, incredibly strong. <laughs> the Mars keeps looking away and he keeps looking at me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He loses his stock and I'm just like, what do you like, want I me? didn't do anything. What do you want me to do, man? I'm just commentating the match here. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Up tilt, what's the juggle going to be? Not much else. Oh, he gets technically in place. Doesn't commit to anything like that. Maybe he would try to jump afterwards. You know, even if he doesn't get a follow-up, he still gets the stage control. He's pulling Mars on one side of the stage exactly where he wants him, which lets him throw his hitbox even more freely than he was before. Not sure. The bomb doesn't have a timer, does Yeah, it? the bomb has a timer, oh, okay. yeah. So if it, stay, if it stays there for too long, then you can hit yourself, too. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Take this again. Ooh. Oh, that forward tilt, yeah, it's very slow. Oh, the, oh, fair, the fair one fair comes one. out. Oh. Not able to find anything else. Tech chase, here we go, into the boost kick. Very nice. I mean, it's still a thing even in, since match four. You tech chase, you, you expect the roll in, you just wait there, and you get the boost kick. Yeah. He's throwing up these nares so much more fully here. He knows that he has a really good position. And uh, if he gets another nair, it potentially leads to, like, a tech chase and dash attack. We saw get the stock earlier. Try to space out with something. The fair is going to come out. Bomb, yeah, just force out the double jump. Still really able to retreat back to the ledge, though. Catch the jump in, barely living here. T in a good spot. What's going to do with the bomb here? Puts it at the ledge. Nice fastball up there through the platform. Mm -hmm. Catching Mars sleeping just a little bit. Only taking 27%, which is huge. Yeah. Kind of heavy character like Link. Nair, not able to set up to anything afterwards. Just rolls out of the way just in case he gets a minus on hit. Back throw, oh. kick flip. Oh, yeah, you're not Mars just in the right time. Not too much of a risk there. Didn't lose his stock because he went off stage. And he's using the boomerang again to control the space he wants to be in, forcing out those jumps and able to anti-air because of it. Yeah, and the bomb going to explode on its own again. Nice, Perry. The upset all the time. T just getting all the hits he needs. Okay. Fourth throw, yeah, just kick him off the stage. And for the boomerang setup, nice. Oh, yeah. There's just <laughs> so much work for T. Oh, yeah, just juggling him all across the stage here, trying to figure out how to make his way in. Yeah. Ooh, catches him on the air, that's with that yeah. fair, yeah. A little bit of lag up from Flippin' Mark, trying to make something happen, trying to call it a jump for T, but he's just playing very patiently, not doing anything preemptively. Um, coming back. Yeah, DI's outward. No follow with the backer there. Oh, and it's not quite connecting. He's just trying to re respect his space, but it's difficult because T is able to control the air so well that Ferris is able to intercept him before he even comes back up in the air. Yeah, and Mars, he's trying to make something happen. Like you said, like, T just putting his hitboxes in such good places. Like, that's kind of like the game we were talking about earlier. Uh, seriously, not having. Uh, that much range in comparison to Link. Yeah, with his disjoint Ferris, he jumps in, trying to get a back and get clipped by it, but Saibi finally getting the stock, still 131. Yeah. So he can pretty much sneeze on him at this point and get the stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both these players really hyping themselves up. T just on his last stock, potentially, but gets the up B out of spin. shield, yeah. Out of shield. Uh, really, probably his best out of shield killing option for Link in this game. Yeah. Comparatively, between the last set with Zachary and Nico, just kind of still just uh, keeping their composure the whole time. These two very energetic, very emotional players. Has to do, I'm sure, with their well, Zachary's young too, but it has to do a lot with their age as well. Because uh, they're on the come up, got those hormones going, all that stuff. Yeah, and uh, Mars is just a really explosive player, like a much based player in general too. So he kind of, has, I feel like he pumps himself up just so he can get himself more into the game and just not really let the loss to happen to him, uh, affect him too much. Yeah, with the exception of the MK Leo set, everything's been game five so far. So it shows you the caliber of the talent we have here today. See though, one game away from moving on in the winners bracket, being the upset on Mars. You uh, newly picked up a time and has been pretty much. Going on a storm with this character. But, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, if that flip kick catch there, Dajo, flipping the super early stock Mars needs to just 
running his way back into the set. Oh, the get up attack going to stage bar, but nice choice of the flip kick there. Yeah, but T tried to do a setup into the oh. dare, not quite. The drag down with the fair, not able to get that grab though. Both these two going both low for blow for each other. All right, jabs him out in there, no takes, but gets the shield poke back. Here. deep off stage, goes low. Mars trying to apply as much pressure as much as possible. Back him off the stage yet again. Oh, and the super deep back air catching the double jump. Mars getting the early stack they need, but the boomerang fair, second hit, not enough to kill. Air dodges through the bomb, still has enough time to make it back. And and up safe, smash. Up smash from Mars gets immediately punished by that sweeping up smash by T. Great answer, get back in the game, keeping it really close. Boomerang fair. Oh, that up tilt was oh. so big. Put him in the air, and then he's able to get that boomerang afterwards as he was trying to land. The up tilt. Arm stage by two. T is working with the momentum here, going blow for blow. Boomerang getting him right where he needs to be for the nair forward air. Oh, well, that clip up. Oh, I don't. He didn't believe. Yeah, he, he didn't, didn't believe the, he fell for it. Yeah, he didn't get the hit from for the bomb. Still working with a huge lead right now. T looking smooth as ever. Mars trying to make something happen. Doesn't want to let T work with the lead for too long. Making okay. T think that he had the comfort of being able to come back to the stage. A big edge guard opportunity. Not able to get it. The high, or excuse me, the the complete hero spin. Able to keep him off of him. Return back to neutral. Nice, up oh, tilt covers the roll. It's a really strong kill option too, but not able to connect. Next one might be enough to kill though. There it is, catches the roll again. He's conditioned Mars to roll in these uh, panic situations and punching effectively. See with a slight pop off too. Those are just one stock away from getting the upset on Mars right now. Yeah. He's oh. taking out a shield. I feel good, not Big quite. Boy Link living really long, but the forward air clipping the jump again, going deep off stage. Mars fighting back in this set, man. These guys. They both want to win so bad. They're not letting anyone hold a lead. Yeah, they're just <laughs> going, pulling out all the stops here on this last stock, potentially. This is to move on further into the bracket. Top 64. But we'll have to see how this goes down for both of them. Oh, Big miss grab. grab coming from Mars. There's the up to the up there. Big hits coming out from T. Again, catches the landing with the forward air. Bomb in play now. Uh, Mars getting a little bit antsy, jumping in his chair. Well, how does he get back? Oh, that, le that ledge drop was so scary. How does he make it back to the stage, though? Just goes right around all the Link's aerials here. Gets great intercepted, trade. though. Yeah, great trade from T. Has the bomb off the stage now. T is swinging. He knows big hit right here. Could be what he needs to take this upset. Mars is trying to play a save. Puzzle catches the jump. T. <laughs> Sending Mars to lose bracket. Big win for T with the Link still sailing that I still got it in this game. Doesn't matter if it's Smash 4, doesn't matter if it's Ultimate. Don't sleep on me, man. Of course, man. I mean, big pop-off ever since Civil War, his first time in America yeah. and been